Hey, what's that you say? If only you had a new, tasty, very hearty, flexible, raw vegan wrap. Presenting Flax Carrot Wrap. Can you say bam? <laughs> Good morning, Buttercups. How are y'all today? Hey, hey. We are in the kitchen this morning, and I want to show you that um, I've just, well, I opened this bag upside down, but this is um, Red Mill Organic Raw Whole Golden Flax Seeds. Um, okay, you just have to see it upside down because, see, I'm going to pour it out if I tip it over. Anyway, we have one cup of those, and I took those, um, and I ground them in my very cheap little coffee grinder, okay, that I got for $2. And then I have poured them into this bowl, okay, ready to go. See how ground they are? And then we have one pound of carrots that we have um, food processed right there, and I'll be right back. Okay, now what I have done is I have transferred some of those carrots, which we have right here. I've transferred one cup of those into my um, Vitamix with one cup of water and 10 pitted dates. And these dates I got at Trader Joe's and these are some of the driest dates on the planet. So anyway, I'm blending this up until it's smooth. That might seem odd to add water to a recipe you're gonna dehydrate, but you have to get the batter um, congruent, you know, the same all the way through. So hang on. Okay, so now I've added that into my bowl and I'm gonna get this blended very good. I'm attempting to make like, I won't even tell you because then it could be a fail. I'm just keeping my, my mind open, okay? Be right back. Okay, so this is what the, um, it's more like dough, do you see? This is how it looks, okay? Y'all getting an eye on that? I think you're upside down, maybe not. Anyway kind of hard with one hand with goo on it and anyway we're going to lay this out in the dehydrator okay okay so this is about not not a fourth but not quite a third of that batter okay and what I have done on my Teflex sheets which is like parchment paper I have put it on there and I have smoothed it out to about um, it's this thickness I don't know how much that is but anyway I'm attempting to make a, a flexi wrap and I have found that when you put the um, dates or raisins in there, it gives it a flexibleness for a wrap. However, if it doesn't turn out as that, it will still be some epic crackers. So um, I'm going to put this in at 110 degrees, and we'll see how long it takes. But, you know, dehydration temperatures, not temperatures, but times vary depending on your machine, the humidity in the house, like, for example, how um, wet your dates were or your carrots or whatever. Um, also your machine, what kind of airflow it has and that kind of thing. So anyway, we're gonna put this in and I'll see y'all later. Hello, can we talk? Okay, this is the flax carrot wrap. Will you all enjoy the flexiness? Do y'all see? Look at the texture. What was that? How about the taste? I'll be right back because what could be better than this than this stuffed with veggies? There you have it, my friends. One wrapped up for the win and one, where are you? For the taste test. Can you all? Mm. You're probably thinking it has a sweet taste, but in fact it doesn't. Be careful how long you leave these in. If you dehydrate the ends a little more than the outside, you can simply damp with a paper towel a little bit till you get the consistency you want, you know, and the crunch and softness dynamic that you like. This is almost like in between a taco shell and a soft taco. Mmm. Delicious. Raw vegan for the whim. Bam. So can you not...
this one um, was the last one I got out and it was a little bit more firm. So let me show you something. I barely put a damp paper towel on it, laid it on here, flattened it on there. I want you to look at it. I've cut these into four because I'm gonna use them for small. Uh, just imagine what all you could put in there. Hello to infinity and beyond. See that? Are y'all enjoying that? I just wanted you to get the full effect of this very professional looking item straight out of the kitchen of love and light. Look at smiling at you. Bye. I just want to make sure y'all get the full effect of these, okay? And all you could stuff in there and all you could roll up in there and all you could do with these. For the love of raw vegan, get your flax carrot wrap on. Hey. Ellie Mae wanted to make sure you understood the ingredients. Stop. They're scratching me in that flax wrap because it was really good. Stop. You're hurting the mother. So anyway, you're going to take um, one cup of flax seeds, raw golden flax seeds, and grind those so that you get all the beneficial properties. And then um, you have that in a bowl, right? One cup of those. Then in your food processor, you process down to itty bitty parts, one pound of carrots, okay? Then over in the, in the blender, you're gonna put in 10 pitted dates, one cup of water, and one cup of the minced carrots, okay? The reason we're doing it that way is because we're gonna have a little bit of texture left over in the bowl, and I, look. It must be nice not to have a care in the world. <laughs> but we also want to have enough in the Vitamix that we pick up all the dates and everything. Okay, so that's how we're doing that. And then you take the mixture out of your Vitamix, pour it into your bowl. So all of it goes in the bowl, blend it until it's a nice batter, like a pancake thickness. And then you are going to flatten that down on Teflex sheets on your dehydrator trays. And I got about um, three sheets out of those. And then I actually took the sheets and did them in quarters, okay? So that made 12 wraps, okay? And I put them in at 110 degrees. I left them in there until I could take another dehydrator tray and put them on top and flip them, okay? And then gently pull off the Teflex sheets when you can. If you can't pull it off quite yet, it's okay. Slide it back in there and then pull it off. You're only going to leave those in there until they are done enough, but they are still flexible, okay? If they get too crunchy in any parts, because it's hard to tell the thickness, how thick they are in one part um, versus another, you can put a little bit of a paper towel on there and re-moisten and reflex it, you know? <laughs> so anyway, that's how you do it, and, and this, this is just how professional it gets in the kitchen of love and light. So. We'll see y'all later, alligators. What are you doing? Do you know that when I was trying to make a video, you were scratching me? Do you know? How about you? Do you care? Huh? You don't even care. And you had some fleas on.